Hello everyone, I'm Casey with Mixer and Custom Extrusions 3D. Welcome to our first video in a series of tutorials about Fusion 360 by Autodesk. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Fusion 360 for personal use. Many people who are interested in getting started in CAD or computer aided design are not aware that they can access 95% of what Fusion has to offer without having to pay a subscription fee for it. This tutorial will guide you through the steps necessary to set up Fusion 360 and pay nothing out of pocket. You ready? Let's get started. First, load your favorite browser and head to www.autodesk.com. Next, click on Free Trials. Then, scroll down the page until you find Fusion 360. After clicking there, once the page loads, change your intended use by clicking the box labeled Personal Use. Be sure to review the qualification details to make sure that you meet the requirements. Note that hobby businesses generating less than a thousand US dollars per year are still considered eligible for personal use. After reviewing the information, continue scrolling down the page and click Get Started under the Activate Fusion 360 for Personal Use. At this point, you are given the choice of signing into an existing Autodesk account or creating a new account. Let's create a new one. Check the box acknowledging that you've read the Autodesk Terms of Use and the Privacy Statement. And click create account. On the next page, leave the box checked if you would like to receive notifications from Autodesk uh, as well as email alerts. Otherwise, uncheck it and choose done. This will lead to what we've been working towards, the download link. Click get started one more time to download the installation file being sure to notate where the file is being saved. After the download is complete, navigate to where you saved the file and double click the file to begin the installation process. If you created a new account, before you can complete your first login, you will need to verify your account. This is done by clicking a link within an email that you'll receive at the email address you supplied when creating the account. Once that has been completed, you'll be able to choose creating your own team or joining an existing one. One final thought is that Autodesk does require personal use subscriptions to be renewed once a year. So don't panic when you see that alert down the road. I just want to say a big thank you for watching today. I hope you found this walkthrough guide useful. We here at Mixer and CE3D want to share in your experience. So feel free to leave a comment. Hit that like button if you found this content useful. Please consider subscribing to support our channel and be sure to click the bell to be notified when new content is available. Now get out there and start creating. 